All right, guys, we're going to jump on the bandwagon now, okay? I'm going to show you two movements um, that you should be introducing into your daily drill set in order to encourage a little bit more strength development in that weak side shoulder, okay? So we've been through the three stretches to um, increase movement and basically maximize your range of motion over the next few weeks. Now we need to activate that shoulder complex and start to encourage that strength development and get back to full strength, okay, so we can get back on the field or in the ring. All right, so here's the movements that we need to increase activation and start to develop a little bit more strength, okay? Um, now, again, you may have access to a gym, um, you may have access to a pulley system, which is great. You don't have to use resistance bands, but I'm assuming that most of us don't have access to a gym because of COVID, or you may have kind of restricted um, or frozen your gym membership whilst you're still weak and trying to make those, uh, those basic progressions yeah, back to full capacity in terms of strength and, and mobility. So I'm going to pin this door closed with the help of a couple of kettlebells here. Okay, I'm going to take my resistance band, and again, you should be able to do this at home, whether you latch it in a door, or you wrap it around a post, put it around your balcony or something, just to increase a little bit of resistance so that you can pull against that anchor point, which is, or should be, at shoulder height, pretty much, okay? So the resistance that we're introducing needs to be at that point of weakness, okay? And I'm simply, just going to go palms down, so supinated grip, an overhand grip, about shoulder width apart. I'm going to sit a little bit, push my butt up just so that my, my weight is stacked nice and neutrally over my spine. Okay, flex my knees slightly, and I'm literally just going to be performing some rows, elbows all the way back behind me, and squeeze at that end range, pulling my scapula back, and then control and resist the urge to just fold forwards. Okay, control it forwards and pull back again. Hold for two, three seconds, control forwards. Now you might, if you have access to a Swiss ball, want to introduce that to this movement, just so that you can kind of challenge your stability a little bit um, and fight the urge to fall forwards or pull backwards even more. Just a little bit of instability might engage your core a little bit, but again, you should notice that that anchor point is wrapped around the door at the same height or the same level as my shoulders, okay? Exactly the same movement. Okay, so this final movement is not only to activate that shoulder complex by encouraging and introducing that resistance, but also to activate your core because we're going to fight that anti-rotational movement as well. So we're going to start to move in that transverse plane, okay? If you're anything like me after that shoulder surgery, I was kind of moving at right angles and doing the robot a little bit because any transverse plane kind of twisting movements really put a lot of demand on that um, operated shoulder, okay? So I'm gonna take my resistance band, I'm gonna kind of get half in it, trap it under the ball of my foot so that it's relatively close to the floor there on the offside foot, forcing me to twist and extend my weak side arm out, okay? And again, this should mimic any kind of twisting punching movements, throwing movements, getting that transverse twisting movement in motion so that it can carry over to your on-field or in the ring sports. Okay, so you can see, hopefully, that that clearly mimics any punching movements, any throwing motion, or even sprinting at bipedal transverse twisting to engage the core, but extend and retract, extend and retract, strengthening that shoulder complex. Okay. Thanks for watching guys, hit me up in the comments below, let me know which of these movements you feel are positively um, enhancing and progressing your rehab and recovery. Again, if you've got any other movements that, um, that you're aware of, please share them with the strength community in the comments below. And finally, I will say and remind you, all of these movements can be done by all of us. Okay, you don't have to be post-surgery, you don't have to be recovering from any type of impingement at all. You might just want to improve your force production, improve your posture, improve your active range of motion and the control of the range that you have, okay? Um, so program these in at least once, ideally twice a day if you are post-surgery and if you are on the road to recovery. But we're all on the road to progress in some form or another and that takes some effort, right? And you know what result loves is the effort. Keep it up, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.